Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 10.7. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So let's start. We also find IO which is indicated on this side using source transformation. So source transformation just a recap it says if you have a current source in parallel with the resistor, you can actually transform it into a voltage source in series with that same resistor value. Or if you have a voltage source which is in series with the resistor, you can transform it alternatively into a current source in parallel with that same resistor value. So that is what we're going to do. And to do this, we are going to use Ohm's law, which says V is equal to IR. Right? So let's start. Starting here, we can combine these two into a single impedance of 4 subtract J3. And the same applies here. We can combine these two into a single impedance of 2 this J1. So that is just to simplify things. Then the same applies here. We have 1 subtract J2. 1 subtract J2. So now we have a configuration which looks similar to this. We have the current source which is in parallel. They share two nodes. It's in parallel with this impedance over here. So we can use Ohm's law and say V is equal to I multiplied by that. And therefore we're going to have, so in terms of impedance, it should be uh, V is equal to z multiplied by i or i multiplied by z because we're dealing with impedances basically the same thing so multiplying these two we're going to have a voltage source of value 40 with an angle of 33.13 degrees then we're going to have that same impedance value of 4 subtract j3 but now it's going to be in series with the one at the top which has a value of 2 subtract j. Then we're going to have j5 and everything as it was. 1 subtract j2, with the IO still indicated over there. So there is no limit to where you're supposed to stop, but we're going to transform this as far as we can and see what we can do or what we can do from the point where we reach, right? So you can just simply add these two into a single impedance. So 4 plus 2 is 6, and then we have minus j3, and we also have minus j. And so the result of that should be 4. So let's look at this properly. This is plus from this. From the top, it was actually plus, because you had 2 and j, right? So it should be 2 plus j. So even here, it should be 2 plus j. And therefore, 4 plus that is 6, and then j subtract that is negative 2. So here, we have a single impedance of value, 6 subtract j2. So we have 6 subtract j2 over there. And we can proceed. So it's up to you how you want to proceed. But try as much as you can not to touch the impedance which has the value or the variable which you want to find. So the impedance which has the variable which we want to find is 1 subtract j2. So let's not touch that for now. So let's retransform or let's transform this new configuration here into that. So now we're going to have a current source of 2 plus j6. And to find that, we just manipulate this and say i is equal to v divided by z. So this divided by that impedance should give you this value of the current source, but the impedance value is still that same value of 6 subtract J2. Then we still have that impedance of J5 in your circuit, as well as the impedance 1 subtract J2, which has IO indicated across it, right? So that is what we have so far. And what we can do here is to combine 6 subtract J2 and j5 in parallel and the result of that should be 10 over 3 plus j 10 over 3 ohms right so that is the result of these two in parallel which means we're going to have just one single impedance over there which has this value 
this value over here. So now that we have that, you can just from here, you can just do current division. So there are two options. You can quickly solve this here and say IO is equal to 2 plus J6 multiplied by this value divided by that same value over there plus 1 subtract J2. So this value, wherever you see these arrows, you should substitute with 10 over 3 plus J10 over 3. So here and there. Right? That is where you should substitute your 10 over 3 plus J10 over 3. You can stop here because we weren't told where to stop, or you can proceed and do more uh, one more transformation. You have a current source which is in parallel with that. So you can do one more transformation, and you should get negative 40 over 3 plus J80 over 3 as your value for your voltage source after doing V is equal to Zi. So this impedance multiplied by that should give you this value. Then you're going to have that same impedance of value 10 over 3 plus J10 over 3. And all of that is going to be now in series. Now it's going to be in series 1. Subtract J2 with your IO still indicated over there. And now everything is in series, which means IO actually flows through everything. And from here, you can just basically do KVL. So you're going to have 10 over 3 plus J, 10 over 3, multiplied by IO, subtract the value of your voltage source, then plus 1, subtract J2, IO is equal to 0. And just do uh, some manipulation, and after that, you should find a value of IO is equal to 6.576 with an angle of 99. 46 degrees in amperes. So whether you do your current division here or you proceed to do one more transformation and actually do KVL over there, you should still get the same value of this.